Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK and I'm so happy you've chosen to join me for this Christmas countdown project. This is my calorie free advent calendar. <laughs> I love this. I have an advent calendar coming to you this year. I try to get one to you every year. I love making advent calendars. Um, James gets one, my husband gets one every year. Um, and I love making them but... I'm on a bit of a diet. Now, it's not like a big diet, but it, I basically, I shouldn't eat the amount of chocolate I eat, that I eat. So, and Christmas is always the worst time, isn't it? So, I've decided, instead of having a chocolate advent calendar this year, I'm going to have a calorie-free one. So, this is what I have got here. This is, um, yeah, my advent calendar. So, it's dead easy to make. This is an IKEA frame, and we're just going to make these bits on camera today this is the, the kind of number pieces so <laughs> excuse the amount of hot glue on this um i have my hot glue gun ready because i do need um my uh, glue gun for this project so yeah i have i have an injury i've burnt myself making this one but i love it i think it's fabulous so dead dead easy to do as well all it is is i have got a piece of design series paper in the back of the frame with a piece of whisper white on top there it's about an eight by eight inch frame so if that helps you get your measurements um for the background then i have just punched out a load of um the leaves from the painted harvest leaf punch some in black some in old olive and i have put them in a kind of wreathy circle <laughs> really technical um and i used hot glue just because i have my glue gun out because i needed my glue gun for these bits now there are magnets underneath here this is how you um change your days and it's not gonna fall off i do have to give credit to somebody i've put this i've written the blog post for this project already and i am really sorry because i spotted something very very similar to this on facebook i cannot remember which group it was on who it was whether it was even a Stampin' Up! related post or anything. Um, but I loved it and I thought I can, I can do something really similar to that. And she'd use magnets as well. And I did spend a good a good while going, well how on earth am I going to change the numbers? Because if I just stick them on, that's it, isn't it? you got to change the whole frame out every day and that's a bit of a nuisance. So I have already made a whole ton of um, the numbers. And we just have one day left to do so i'm going to put all of these in the frame um and i'm going to share exactly what i did to make these fabulous number pieces um, to go in your frame so we have a piece of basic black cardstock and these are three by three inches so seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters square and a piece of whisper white that is a quarter of an inch of an inch yeah shorter and narrower or half a centimeter so this is seven by seven or two and three quarters by two and three quarters maths is not my strong point today apparently uh gone a little bit a little bit brain dead still suffering with um some quite severe backache at times and it's starting to go again so i'm really hooked because the first video i've got I've, i'm filming of about five projects i've got lined up on my desk over there and i need to get them done so i've stuck that a piece of whisper white onto my piece of basic black i have then used another punch i'm a bit punch obsessed at the moment this is the everyday label punch it is fantastic i love this i've said this before stamping up better carry this over into the annual catalog next year because it's just fab it's a really handy really useful size great for loads and loads of sentiments there are two stamp set that sets that do coordinate this one with this one in the autumn winter catalog there is many little labels and i can't remember what the other one's called because i don't own it uh, but it's like in the halloweeny bit near the end so i've punched that i've got two of those one in basic black cardstock and one in the designer series paper that i've chosen to use for this one which is the merry little christmas it's all old olive whisper white and basic black and i love it i think it's really fun festive but not overly christmassy um so i'm going to stick these two together so because of they're like a they're a geometric shape they, they layer up really nicely kind of crossways so i'll do that 
just like that there and I'm going to pop that straight on to our piece of um let's do it that way I think like so that's our kind of background then I have a tiny little piece of this striped ribbon now this is the stuff that's got um wire in it um, and it's fun but it does leave kind of bits of it molts ever so slightly so i'm going to pop some fast views on there i'm going to stick that over the top of it just like that. you just need fast views to stick it on it it'll stay then i have some numbers and i have used the large numbers dies for these um, and they're all cut out of old olive cardstock I've got 24 because we is, is the last one don't do a 25th because that's not advent anymore that's christmas day <laughs> so one and these are the mini dimensionals that i'm using on the back of here um you could use standard size ones and cut them up but these i've got these to hand so i'm going to use them I like that and then i'm just going to really really simple i was keeping it simple because when you've got 24 of something to make you want things to kind of be as simple as possible don't you, you don't want to over complicate it like so just like that and i can smell my heat gun is hot that's how um <laughs> i'm really stupid basically and i i ended up burning myself i didn't I, oh, yeah i had a bit of a moment a bit of a meltdown moment while trying to make this the other day because i'd stuck some magnets on and then they weren't the right way around and i did throw a little bit of a wobbler so these are neodymium magnets i got mine off ebay you put neodymium, neodymium magnets into ebay um, you'll get loads of them and i have two different sizes i have some that two millimeters and these are the one mil thick ones um I, and because uh, because of my little wobble I had, my husband very kindly has labelled them. So there's a plus in Sharpie Mark on one side and a negative on the other. So that when I came to film this video, I wouldn't have another nervous breakdown. So I'm going to pull that first magnet off the top. These are so strong, it's just silly. So, and I've got my glue gun that is nice and hot because it's leaving a little wadge of glue on my silicone mat. I always have a silicone mat handy when you're doing hot glue stick my magnet in there and then i'm going to stick some more hot glue oh no i'm not i'm going to stick the hot glue on the back of this circle it's a circle punched it from a one inch circle punch in basic black cardstock straight over the top of that i'm going to pull the plug on my hot glue gun before it melts everywhere <laughs> i've got a funny story about this hot glue gun actually well well that's cooling a bit this is like the only crafty present my husband's ever bought me uh, was a, is a hot glue gun and i don't use it very often because i do burn myself but i be, when after i burnt myself yesterday i then ran out of glue sticks i don't think actually i don't think i've run out i just can't find the ones that he bought because i don't use it very often i have only ever i don't think i've ever gone through a whole glue stick so but i couldn't find any more so <laughs> i had a bit of wobble and I do have, or I did have, another glue gun, like a little tiny weeny little one. Well, it went in the bin because I, it's so, it's not, it doesn't get hot. I mean, that's still hot to touch, that there, it's still warm. And this, oh, this glue gun, it, it was dreadful. It went straight in the bin as soon as I finished the project. So some of these are not, I'm not trusting that it's not some of these won't fall off but that is my project so on the um let's just pull all of these back out of here again in the center of our wreath there is another uh, black um cardstock circle one inch circle and the reason for that is that if you touch the magnet to magnet you'll find, as I did, that the cardstock just rips, it won't hold up. So I've got a piece of cardstock over this magnet and a piece of cardstock over that magnet, and then it sticks, but it's easy to pull back off again. So that is my calorie free advent calendar for 2017. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Anything you like in the, you've seen in this video that you want to purchase, you can buy in my online store. Link is in the down bar below or over on my blog, stampingbyhand.co.uk. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.